All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, and we are back. So wanted to let you guys know that it has been three days, about two and a half days, uh, since we've left, last have left off. So in that time, I've done quite a bit. I've leveled up to level 22. I have over 1,000 hero scrolls, 1.5 million coins, almost 800 gems, and 322 hammers. So... What we're going to do right here is we're going to upgrade our chest, and we have a little bit of extra, so why not just upgrade our gold production? Um, we probably got attacked quite a bit. We did. That's fine. This is not something I really care too much about. The only reason that I'm even interested in this somewhat is to raid and complete quests. So every day you'll get new quests. You basically will get... A quest to defeat two people in raid. So that's what I'll do. I'll level up my characters to that point. Not all of my characters are level 22, so I'm not doing a fantastic job of defending, but that's not one of my main priorities here. So that was basically the first thing at the bottom, which is the hammer. Next one's going to be the gems. So the portal is something that I'm definitely going to be doing. Now, I will be getting back here when I have over 2,700 gems, uh, because it basically gives you a guaranteed hero, uh, which is super important, and you don't always get that ability if you just do it once. So I want to do kind of the highest available. Now, I have scrolls. Scrolls you can gain through quests. You can gain them through sometimes different avenues or by beating people in raids. So those are definitely things that you can do. Now, what we're going to be doing is we basically have two up, two times, where we can hopefully get something, get a token or possibly get a full hero. A full hero would be ideal on this. And that's actually how I got the the guy who kicks, the ninja. So let's summon and hope we get a gold one, which we didn't, so we're only gonna get tokens here. So we got Cobalt the Pestilent, which isn't end of the world, not horrible, but Let's hope that we can get a good gold chest right here, which we didn't. So we really got unfortunate here. We're not actually going to get anything. Uh, this gave, I mean, it basically gave us an upgrade to someone that we've already unlocked. So that's just, you know, something that hope we were hoping to get something, but we basically just got tokens instead. And tokens were for heroes that we really don't care too much about that I'm not really going to be... Uh, adding to my lineup. Now you'll notice here that we're getting pretty close to unlocking a couple people. So Chief Nub Nub is actually a really good one to get, so I really want him. Sir William I'd like to get. Uh, Black Diamond's pretty good. Selwyn the Enduring. Awesome, so we're gonna add him. His abilities, Northern Gale. We can actually ascend him. We're not going to. We're not gonna send anyone at this point. We're gonna kinda wait a little bit. We also got Cobalt the Pestilent. So he has a pretty good, he's more of the dark arts type guy. So his quick starter starts all dungeons with added ability energy. So that's pretty cool, but uh, not necessarily uh, necessary. Uh, he's kind of got the dark path, so uh, such a shadow blade. Uh, what I also did in the meantime was I was actually able to get Femus here, at Torchy, Nitpick, Jabber Clunshot, Tsume, and those were the ones that I basically were able to get, you know, via quests or, you know, getting the tokens. So we collect 14 heroes, we've actually collected 15, so we basically get even more stuff. Um, you'll notice here that we can spend 100,000 more gold, so what we're actually going to do is we are going to campaign chapter five this is a very very difficult level this reflection halls in order to do this all of these guys are essentially water so we're actually going to want uh some grass type heroes so knowing that we want some grass type heroes this bovos el doro is ability we're, we are going to first upgrade him a little bit to level 22 and with level 22, we are going to upgrade his stuff. Now, we don't have cheap Num Nub, so unfortunately, you know, I would like to upgrade him to be our healer. 
we don't have him yet. So, and I really want to be able to get through this chapter, especially. So we're actually going to be looking for, yes, Yasmin Bloom. So her profile, we are going to increase her stats to 22. And for this, I don't care too much about her wand. I do care about these. Those are most important for us. So I like Ignis, but because these are all water, it's not actually something we want to do. So right now we have Bova, Seldoro, and Yasmin Bloom. Um, someone else we would actually really like to do is Willow Swift, only because she attacks first. So we're actually going to use a 1600 potion and then something else just to kind of increase her up. We are going to put her up just because she's she's grass and she actually does pretty decent um, damage and she ignores armor which is also really cool so and the, uh, now that we look at it right here um, it's not actually taking that much energy to ascend her so we are actually going to ascend her it'll give us a 25% chance to dodge ranged and evasive shot so the will swift has ascended so we also actually have that for one other character, and that is our healer, Yasmin Bloom. So again, there's some people can ascend, some people can't. Um, but the reason that we're doing this, 90, nice, nice, is if we complete chapter five, we're only two away from unlocking another character. And so if we look through this, Four hundred thousand. That's a lot of gold. One four star hero. So we definitely don't have that yet. But we're gonna go through here, and we're gonna attempt to get through this. This is a pain, man. This is rough. So we're gonna try and strategically get through this. Um, we're going to go with a revive, not a revive. We're gonna go with healing, because not only do we actually want to beat this dungeon, but we want to beat this dungeon on three stars, because if we do that, then we don't actually have to play the dungeon again. Um, all you really will have to do at that point is use a dungeon key, which you can easily get um, if you play through these and you get kind of the shiny objects. So first round right here, easiest thing to do is to pick out the guy with the most health, which is gonna be this guy, hit him, Stampede is always great. The first one always has five people, so it's a really good opportunity to kind of take out as many of them as you can. Um, the wolf actually does some of the most damage, so you want to kind of take him out first. You'll notice right here, she only has two to recuperate, which is great, which means she can kind of keep, you know, doing special attacks all the way through. Um, Bobo Seldoro, though, you'll notice he has six or seven. So it's kind of rough in terms of uh, getting him to continually attack, but we'll we'll address that when it happens. Now, the great thing is, is anyone else, the flying guys actually attack first, but with our archer, she attaches first, and sh they are water, so she actually does a lot of damage to them. Take those guys out again. Okay, good. I'm glad we dodged a couple of those, because... That can be very difficult. So we're going to have her hit him. Okay. Is he gonna, okay, that's that's fine, actually. You really want to be all healed up for the very, very end boss fight. So this isn't the worst case scenario. Okay, now, now there's only two. This is great. Evasive shot. So we're going to use Evasive Shot here. It also makes me evade so that if any of these guys try and attack me, um, they're not going to really do that much damage. So that's great. Hopefully this guy attacks me, but he attacked the bull. If he attacks the bull, that's fine. And again, not everyone's going to have the bull at this point, um, but if you have some type of a grass-type creature, that's going to be your best bet. Um, we're actually going to use Sniper Shot on this guy because he does quite a bit. So we want to take him out right away. We also want to take out this wolf. Because as you can see, the wolf actually does a successive attack. And it really does quite a bit of damage. So now we have Stampede. Stampede is great for this final battle. So your final boss battle, especially at the end of chapters, you're going to have this huge long thing. Jump on it. 
And level five, I did want to show you guys because you are going to see a really, really tough enemy. Kang Kuang. So he sucks. <laughs> he does a lot of damage to you. So we're going to actually do evasive shot. We're going to attack him. You can see we only did a little bit of damage. So we're going to do these things right here. Oh, I clicked on them. I meant to show you guys. But these things will do incredible damage. He'll actually pick them up and he'll throw them at you. And so you don't want to do that. You'd rather him do exactly what he just did. And we don't want to do Stampede because Stampede actually does a really good job at taking out those other things. So you'll see his his life bar in the upper corner, upper you know top of the screen. Uh, it's going to slowly go down. Crit definitely helped. Uh, we're not going to use Stampede yet. We are going to actually use Team End. Okay, so we're going to actually use Cure Wounds just because it has less of a cooldown. And we're going to hope that we can do it again. Now, Sniper Shot is great. So he's going to be aware of falling objects, which is perfect, which means we're going to use Stampede. Hopefully, Stampede takes them both out. It usually doesn't. But it did right there, which is fantastic. So evasive shot again. Always use evasive shot if you can. Oh, and they got poisoned. That's just not good at all. So we're going to have to use this. Poison's actually going to do quite a bit of damage to us. Uh, that's just not good. So I might end up having to use a potion. Which is the whole reason we got potions, because the other things you can get, which are revives, actually count against your one star, and we don't want that. We do not want to use our one star. Beware of falling objects, that's fine. Now, we can attack him, or we can allow him to throw stuff at us. I think we're actually going to take that out, and then we're just going to straight attack him, because we would rather him not do that horrible breath attack. Okay, perfect. He went for he went for the uh, guy. He's laughing. Does don't matter too much. We're gonna be able to cure wounds, which is perfect. Exactly what we want. Can do evasive shot. Perfect. Okay, we we are doing really well at this point. I mean, we're we're setting ourselves up for success. Sniper shot's gonna do a fantastic job again. It's gonna crit him. Falling objects. We should have stamp heat up soon it's not actually up soon again take that one out don't worry about the uh, just the ball the circle one unless he hits our healer we should be fine so stampede use everything you can even though he doesn't have a lot of health use it because you're gonna give him one less energy even if you don't um, connect And so that right there is actually a great way. Fennel Thoden, one out of one thousand. That's crazy. So we got almost we got two hundred gems from that. We got three starred. That is the way to do it. So you'll notice that this actually will unlock a whole nother place. Now it says recommended level of eighteen. You'll see that this is recommended level of sixteen. That is not true. Um, but what you can do is you'll notice that these are kind of the materials that you can get. They're not even that great materials. You can get better materials from here. You know, just if you want to do quick loot, don't even want to run through it, and hopefully get a gold box. Now, you're not always going to get a gold box. It's kind of rare. But I'm just saying, like, like getting three stars on that one was not, like, a top priority. However, because you got three stars, you can do this. Bovis Eldoro, look at that, upgrade 8 of 20, so he's actually pretty close. Um, and you can claim that, and you're only 2 away, only 2 away from her. So the other things you can do is get player rank 30, which is going to take us quite a bit of time. We can spend more gold, it's going to take a lot of time. Um, the best bet is probably just to get a 4-star uh, hero, which again is luck. I really wanted to get one, but I really wasn't able to, which was unfortunate. Uh, but you'll notice that we have a little bit of these guys. Now, these guys are all dark, so you're actually going to want to throw in one of him. Probably want a healer. And they're basically going to allow you to have more people on your team because you're going to be facing a lot more. So that's just definitely something really cool. 
So I'll go through this really quickly, kind of show you guys this this level. This is going to be chapter six. Let's tap on the special thing. Also got more energy. Perfect. So stampede's great. Stampede's great. Any uh, area of effect that hits everyone is great when there's an Evo around because you take away the Evo while making doing damage to everyone else. Now that guy's a healer up at, up at the top. So we're actually going to try and hit this guy. Yeah, just take him out. Oh, you decided to attack me, you son of a gun. All right. I was not really expecting him to want to really attack me. Okay. Apparently he's not a healer. Apparently he likes to attack, so... No matter, we were able to take him out pretty quickly. All right, so we have... And again, all of these guys are melees. So if we just kind of spread this love around... Use a wall of fire. Damaged all of them. Um, essentially, that what that means is that our goal here is to get them to burn when they attack us. Just like this. And it, we're going to do tons and tons of damage to them. Just like that. Boom. Easily take them out. Now, we wouldn't have done wall of fire if we didn't have one more section. Because this is going to be kind of our heal up section. So, we're going to basically just try and take these guys out and then use her to kind of heal up the team now it's really just both of us but I want both of us to be healed before we kind of take on that final boss and again you'll notice that stampede is up which is great she has kind of the less damage so that's why we decided to use Ignis on the bottom guy Perfect. So we got our final boss, man, of this one. My guess is it's not going to be just one individual. It's going to be multiples, and that's why I saved. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to use Stampede anyways because it's going to take a long time to get this guy out, and always getting them down one energy is always uh, what you would like. Feet of Fury is going to do a couple of nice good damage. We're going to definitely be using the Wall of Fire if it comes up again before our next turn. Or before we take this guy out. Oh, and we're diseased. So this guy can actually get us diseased. That is not cool. That's fine. So you'll notice the disease will actually do um, quite a bit of damage to us. We're going to save all of our attacks. This guy is pretty easily done at the end. It's just one guy. And we got nothing special. We got gems. We didn't get, like, you know, the token, which is really what we want. So anyways, guys, this is kind of a, a recap of kind of the end of Chapter 5 and some other cool stuff that we can do. We got five heroes to level 5, to level 20. That's awesome. But anyways, guys, I will see you guys in the next part. Probably around 30. This has been Pitching Ace 88, over and out.